we're talking about data-wise, other people are hearing RTI, and one of the questions is, well, why are we doing different things? What are they? What are you doing to us? And what, what you want to realize, in a lot of ways, is they're both the same thing. They're both a continuous improvement process, a database decision-making process. Sometimes we think to mention that data-wise is a circle. That's why the little point comes back in on it and you go in a cycle. What RTI does is make that cycle very visible. Where data-wise says, I'm going to um, plan to assess progress. <coughs> with RTI, we pretty much make those decisions up front. And we try to get you to do that with data-wise, too, to say, you know, what are your assessment plans going to be? But the, the, um, the gold one is kind of like, let's look at this three times a year. <coughs> and we're going to go through the cycle three times a year on the benchmarking. Then, when you come into the progress monitoring, you're doing the same loop, but you're kind of doing it every two, three weeks with a small set of students. When we talk about response to intervention, then, mostly it's steps three through eight. Like I said, they both kind of have a, okay, let's get organized step. When you get organized in RTI, it specifically calls out multiple kinds of teams. So, in most cases, you're going to have a vertical team, which is like a school-wide team that's trying to oversee all the data. And data-wise, we have you guys, right? You are a vertical team across your school. RTI is also explicitly calling out, in most cases, grade-level teams, but in the middle school, it might be a subject team that's going across grade levels, but they're very focused on the subjects, depending on what you're doing. So both of them are calling out teams. Benchmarking is essentially three times a year, fall, midterm, and then early spring, you're actually looking at all your kids and starting to say who needs extra help, who's on track, what, and making school-wide decisions. Progress monitoring then takes the students who have needed in-depth help and looks at them maybe every week to two weeks to say are they making the progress we want which makes life a little easier for you. So RTI tends to say we've got a tier one that's about, we hope, 85% of our kids. Those are the kids who are on the track. Those are the kids that really our school-wide stuff is addressing. And then we have two tiers of students based on what level of support or intervention they need. And those of you who are RTI schools know we've defined those interventions. <coughs> that once you've defined it, a student is tier two, here are choices you make. Once you define their tier three, here's what you do. So it becomes a little more explicit, not quite as much school-based, or, or not as much optional, and in a lot of ways makes life a little easier. Then you have meetings of these RTI teams. So they're looking at the data. They're looking at two kinds of data, and you're aware of them from our data-wise. One of them is saying, let's look at what the student data looks like. Another whole piece is, and let's look at our instruction. And schools that are starting in RTI, we're kind of starting first with the student data and maybe not quite as much into looking at instruction, but that's a major component of RTI as well. And, and again, the student performance data leads to the learner center problem, data-wise, looking at instruction leads to the problem of practice. So they're, they're tied, they both have you do the same thing. Then it, your teams, when they meet in RTI, are going to say, what are we going to do? We have rules, but also, it may not be working. You know, we may have followed this decision process. Um, we're looking at a nifty system called IPASS um, that actually plots kids over time and starts to say, uh-uh, that intervention's not working. Think of something else. So your teams are actually monitoring kids, saying, what are we going to do? Hopefully getting some tools that help you look at that. 